In this video, we will cover the basics of how to use the Gantt layout within Hive. There are two ways to add dates and dependencies within the Gantt layout. The first is simple and uses the actual chart. By clicking onto the chart, you're able to add due dates, add start dates, and expand the date, um, as well as move the dates of any actions within your project plan. If you prefer, you can use the Gantt grid, which is located on the left panel. By clicking the gear icon, you'll see you have the option to view a status, start date, end date, duration, and predecessor. For this example, we'll use start date, end date, and then duration. From here, you're able to manually adjust the dates on which you'd like the tasks to fall. Those changes are then reflected here on the Gantt chart. If the duration is only for one day, you'll see that there's only an end date. From here, you can make any adjustments once again in the chart. You can adjust what you're able to view here in the Gantt chart by using filters uh, to filter out any tasks with certain assignees, labels, and statuses. You can also change the zoom on the Gantt chart if you'd like to zoom in to a weekly view or zoom out to see the entire year. Grouping by project and label will segment the data in different ways. If, if you'd like to reorder any of the tasks on the left panel, you can click and drag to drop them in the appropriate order, or click and drag to drop them on top of another action in order to create a sub action. So it's a really flexible way to rearrange the tasks within your project. If you then would like to export the Gantt view to a PDF, you can go to the More option, choose Export, and then you can select the type of file format you'd like to view your project in. Uh, in this case, PDF or PNG will probably be the most useful, and that's actually going to retain all of the information that you see on the screen. So for example, if you've selected uh, to include status or duration on that left panel, the PDF and PNG will then include that information in the export as well.